one but two video switchers six cameras one desktop ladies and gentlemen i'm working five computers we are multitasking on steroids because we yes we are the complete broadcasting team there are no cameramen there are no audio technicians there is no cleanup crew we do however have bottled water and a wonderful 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 Morning coffee. I made the coffee this morning, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's right. I ground up some Sumatra beans, Arabica beans. And then I added a hint, Vic, of that French roast just to give it that uh. And then we brewed it strong and long like you like it. If I didn't know any better, I'd say some alcohol is in my coffee. No, it's clean. It's virgin coffee. <laughs> there ain't no such thing. Sometimes when the ladies are coming, I stick my finger in it for a minute so they'll fall in love. Oh, but not just that. Oh, oh that, what a visual. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we are self educated and self trained. We have absolutely no broadcasting experience whatsoever. We are, quote unquote, radically transparent. We are part of the long tail. We have never, ever worked in the entertainment industry. We are not traditional. We are outsiders. We are independent. We are the new, new. And most. Most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, we are living the dream, and we are doing the impossible. There we go. Yo, I like this. This is the part where he does the claps. I'm going to eat my banana. Because I feel mm, real good right now. Victor mm, Feels good. Look, if you guys are waiting Victor for somebody to be politically and um, media respectful, because I'm not supposed to eat, then y'all need to get another hang up in life because I'm going to eat my No, banana. because this morning uh, coffee, I actually mm, think they should know. You should, you're setting okay. a, first of all, a wonderful source of potassium. Thank you. And also, the bananas also are good because when you're suffering from diarrhea, they have that ability to firm up those stools. So are you saying that I'm suffering from diarrhea? I'm just saying that bananas serve so many functions. A <laughs> wonderful example. You know, we say, Vic, I tell them, whatever to have, and it's supposed to have it with us, right? That's right. Fruit, bran muffins. Yes, sir. Uh, whatever you have. Mac has a whole routine he does up there in Port Townsend, right. Washington, or what he has in the morning. So everybody, whatever you're having, your bran muffins, your fruit, your coffee, we want you to come and share with us. Whatever you're smoking on, whatever you're sipping on. Okay, those unfiltered I camels. I agree, man. Those illegal Cubans. I think you, I, you're so right. Matter of fact, they, they, you should suggest to them that they try the wheat germ ice cream. Try that. Try that. And oh, you guys, make sure, I got to tell you, you got to go and check out this week's episode of Retro Jazz and Blues. Mac McAllister, online with Mac.ning.com. You got to go check it out. This is the man, I call him, the habit worth having. See, and here's some links. You can go and link to them right up there because you got to go hear the show. Every, every Sunday, there's a new, there's a new uh, episode. And this week also, there's a piece that we put links to uh, from Mac Vic. It's, his, it's a new Mac McAllister uh, journal All right. uh, entry. Okay. Uh, it's called Same Shit, Different Day. Are you supposed to be censoring yourselves, or are you? No, because we have we have, we also have that new segment called the other shit. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, shit is now the word of the we, we've shit is in. Okay. It's in to say shit. They have movies now called and shows. Shit, my father told me. Got you. It's just it's all about the shit. I got you, bro. So you know we we, we have shit. I got you. So okay, so let me tell you about some of the things. So first of all, we got the good news. We got the good news. The bad news and the other shit. Okay, now, you know what? I'm I'm going to address an evaluation sometime later in this week of that picture you have of uh, Mac. I'm if I'm not sure, I this picture he, right here. He looked like uh, he is a present day pirate with a cap on. He's an artiste. That's his artiste hat. <laughs> hey Mac, we both got a hey, Mac. That's the way we do it. I don't even. That's part of getting older. We don't care about our fashion faux pas. Those I dress better. Normally, I have a dazzling array of t-shirts, <laughs> and so I can't even talk. If I was to talk about anybody's wardrobe, I'm so wide open for comment. So Mac here looks like he's in Paris, having a a cappuccino out on the byway. If he had a scarf on, he'd look like a pirate. <laughs> he does have a scarf on. Look at the scarf. See, he's got a scarf. He got the Whispers mustache happening. The scarf on his head. I'm growing me one of those Scotty and the Whispers mustaches. I don't think anybody really <laughs> cares about that. You know, part. the big old thick ones. Yeah, you know, I don't. 
Mm, no. All right, I got some. Hey, well, anyway, I got some news. We got the good news, the bad news, and the other stuff. Yes. Okay. Yep. So let me tell you first of all about the good news, you guys, because I thought this was kind of interesting. And see what you think. All right. Starbucks is expanding. You know, Starbucks is doing well. I, I saw a report. First of all, you guys support Starbucks. Here's a reason to support Starbucks right now. This is a just one reason. First of all. Starbucks actually provides health care benefits to part-time workers who do 20 hours a week or more. That's hot. One of the few. Yeah, that's hot. Don't that make you feel better about spending $4 on that cup of coffee? Mm. They do health care for part-time workers. Yeah. That's so hot. remember, so the, you know, different, and they also get profit sharing. So we love Starbucks and what they stand for, yeah. and that that kind of passion. We try to bring that kind of passion into that television. But let me tell you, Vic, what's happening is that they're expanding. First of all, they're getting ready for Starbucks at night. They're expanding their evening business. They already knew uh, uh, that it was a potential. Right now, Starbucks gets seventy percent of their businesses. Before two, right? I understand. I okay, got you. I get you. Try, that business traffic. Break That's time, right. Lunch. But remember, since they built that whole culture of coming there, hanging out the coffee shop, the Paris way. That's right. Their yeah. whole thing. So now they're going to be expanding the independent uh, Starbucks and check it out. They're going to have beer and wine. Oh, oh! So they're going to leave out my stuff. What's that? That with a chamomile, Coca Cola, Coca Cola. Well, no, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> No. Oh, leave, no. Leaving out my Pepsi, hey, Vic, my hey, Vic. Coke. Here's how they go. This is how those natural <laughs> vegan people go. Oh, no. No. no, no, no. Don't do yourself no, a disservice. No, no. I know, no, no. man. I know. Hey, no, no, please, you know that. Uh, they say, you know, Coca-Cola will dissolve teeth. Yeah. But I tell them I don't walk around holding a mouthful of Coke. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I tend to swallow mine. I don't just sit there with my... Get- <laughs> So it don't, it don't be in contact right. with my teeth very long. It goes directly down. It goes down. right down. Right down. <laughs> it goes right past the teeth. Now, unless it's dissolving some intestines. Oh, yeah. Of course. So. <laughs> That's right. But they, they didn't mention Coca-Cola, though, Vic. They are going to have beer and wine. All right. By the way, Starbucks is turning 40 next year. Yeah, it's good Believe story. that or not. So I just want you guys to know, Starbucks has beer and wine coming. They got a new nighttime Starbucks. You know, they should have Pac Stereo in Starbucks. Mm. They should be playing it on the monitors. Really? Pack stereo. They should have Starbucks TV. Right. You know what, Starbucks? You should come talk to the innovators, Mario Hemsley and Victor Allen, and let us help you design Starbucks internet television. If I did, Mark, and then we can help them. I think we can help them. I think right off hand, I'm, I'm being serious, dude. I think anything that's suggested is already in the works. Because all it takes is putting video well, cameras because, in there, in there, in an audio receptor. You know what I mean. Right, that. exactly. Because need, I got a plan for Starbucks at night where they have different performances, local performances in Starbucks all around the country. Right. Captured by video. Yeah. Sent into a central database and yeah. all fed into the Starbucks television channel. How Mac, much, how much is it going to cost? Can we get some Starbucks money? You tell them how much it's going to cost. If I had money, I'd hire, I, Mac, I would hire you. To you, do, you see, I would pay folks you pay some money. To implement that nationwide. We get Not some either. of our people. We bring out Shirley. Now nah, we couldn't bring Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> that hip-hop Republican stuff. I don't know. But we, we send Shirley somewhere. That's right. what we do. There you go. So we want everybody to know uh, that stuff is coming, okay? Starbucks yeah. is going to have a nighttime thing, beer, wine. Yes. They're even looking at some other foods, like, you know, to ba- tomato bisque. <laughs> really? Ice cream. So they're going to start selling Starbucks ice cream. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. We're just gonna, Starbucks going to have some nighttime. If they could just get some strippers in there, we'd be happy. I think... It'll depend on the area. For example, there's some chess <laughs> players that like to hang out. How you spell it? Chess or chess? Chess. Oh, chess. Okay. Chess players. I know. I you're play going. some chess. I know you're going with this. I know. I like a B cup. You got the checker group who play checkers. Then you got the the eclectic group, spoken words. And then you got the group that says, "I'm in between jobs." Mm. And then you got the group that's trying to run away from their job. And then you got don't the run. Script. Don't run from your job. <laughs> Not right now. Not right now. Wait. Wait a little while. <laughs> Just wait a little while. Don't run now. You might have to run back. It's like kids. You know, you, those of you 35, right. don't move out of your mom's house. No. No. I know. Wait till you 37. Mm-hmm. Go on and get another couple years. There you go. <laughs> I'm with you. You know, you know you're still, you're used to that bed. It is. But you know what, Mark? When you think about it, you brought, bringing up the Starbucks story, it, you know what? I'm, I'm going to say this. It's threatening 
which in a good way, a culture. Starbucks has become a culture of associations outside of their prime directive, which is what? To sell cup, to make they wanted to, yeah. to elevate our understanding of coffee, and they have they have right. elevated right everyone's understanding of coffee. They have also, like you said, brought a culture because the whole way they refer to it, like venti, right? They just they just use that means twenty. I know, I know. <laughs> they just stuck words in there. That means you something, know, something different, right? Right, because he said they didn't want to have a call, so they have a tall. <laughs> I, I think all those, you could apply those same principles. You know, they call a small a tall. Right. And they tall, call a tall a grande. And yes, they sir. call a big one a vente. Right. We could apply that to uh, penises. <laughs> I'm, I'm not switching the camera. We won't on call none of them small. All right. I'm not gonna... <laughs> we start with tall. Right. <laughs> why don't they just get the one called? We start with tall. Why don't they Y'all just, like that one? Why don't they just do two? Why don't they go big mama and big daddy? Okay, because they they, they needed three sizes. No, at the very top. They could have had Big Mama, Big Daddy, and Little Wee Wee. (laughs) That could have been the little coffee. (laughs) Teta, little Teta. (laughs) Little Wee Wee. (laughs) All right. Uh, By the way, you guys, you notice how they wear a t-shirt today? I'm trying something different for you all. I'm trying to look more professional to see if it makes any difference. I'm tired of going to rent to own. I can't return my clothes fast enough. Man. Tired of buying my clothes down at the, the alley. Swap me. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> See, we got to get us some new threads. I'm telling you what's going to happen. The culture is going to change. The economics going to get real bad. People are going to come and sell your clothes to, at your front door, and you're going to buy them. Well, well. Speaking of okay, well, so Vic, yeah. help is on the way. Yeah. The Gates Foundation, Bill and Melinda Gates, announced twenty million dollars have been appropriate for learning challenges and all the materials in other words what's happened is they're financing they're making investment in what they call next generation learning okay this is an initiative that's designed to improve college readiness through technology vic that's hot and they're trying to so they're spending 20 million for learning and everything of that they do has to be made available through creative commons Oh, so they already got a relationship yeah, with Creative yeah, Commons. Yeah, yeah, so that, so, so they, what does that right, tell you? That, that tells you guys that tell you more about? is coming. So here comes twenty million dollars from Bill and Melinda Gates for learning. Okay. To increase to increase college readiness among our youth. Right. Through technology and it totally embraces right. Creative Commons. That's yeah. the same way we bring you guys that music, right? The right. music we say yeah. you can get the music for free, right? And have it, use it, do all that stuff. Yeah, no different than you can come yeah. on morning coffee for free. That's right. We're giving back. What are we doing? We're giving back some idiots. We are giving back. We're giving back some people who are very talented. We're giving back. That's right. <laughs> and some of y'all are giving. We know, but it doesn't count. I know herpes is the gift that keeps on giving, but that doesn't count. Right. <laughs> We're not talking about your. Willing to spread social disease. We're talking about you need to spread some information. You know what? I'm telling you, we're changing. Come 2011, you guys are not going to recognize this no more. It's, it's done. We're going to the next evolution. Minority you Report. You're going to do one of the Michael Jackson, like, uh, complexion change things? Well, you know what? I have to, you bring up a good point, Mario, because. It's going to be lighter in 2011. Well, I was, I got an invitation from a football league, a women's football league, to actually play on the team. And I gave them a response, only if I play center. Okay. I want them to play center. You just want to feel their hands up against your nuts. <laughs> See, I can't believe you went there. I can't yeah, believe you know, that. You know, that's why I could never be center. Could never be center, yo. Because, you know, it's just too many hands. <laughs> Wait a minute. Would you? Okay, I'm not going to even say it. I'm going to leave it alone. Because I know you're on the clock. And I'm going to stay away and stay focused. Because we're supposed not, to be. I'm...